Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air is here with Jeremy again, once again. And uh, I'm leaving for Florida tomorrow to go to Benson Days and to Sun and Fun. So if you happen to be in the Florida area uh, the next couple weeks, uh, come by either Benson Days or Sun and Fun to the Auto Gyro booth and say hello. Jeremy is very excited about his flight today, aren't you, Jeremy? Yes, I am. There you go. <laughs> What we're doing is I'm uh, just going to kind of do a kind of a uh, run through of a check with him to make sure he knows all of the procedures that are going to happen on his check ride. So it's kind of a check ride pre-flight pre here, uh, which is going to include a bunch of maneuvers and uh, takeoff and landings and emergency procedures and all that good stuff. But first, we're going to hear Jeremy talk on the radio. Are we going to stay in the pattern? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Chino Ground, Gyrocopter 378 Whiskey X ray at Eagles S2 with India. Request taxi to the active runway, please. Nice. Gyro 378 Whiskey X ray, Chino Ground, runway 26 right, taxi via Mike Delta Alpha, cross runway 21. Mike Delta Alpha, cross 21 for 26 right, uh, 378 Whiskey X ray. Look at Jeremy, professional on the radio there. Good job. Um, Do you like my, my new little thing here? Yeah, it looks better. It's easier to see. Yeah. Um, this mic uh, button starting to stick. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I have to push up the top of it to unkey it. Unstick it. Or yeah. to stick it or whatever. All right, we'll put that on the squawk sheet. Not a red X. Not a red X, yeah. yeah. So, guys, every examiner has their own little things they like and don't like. Um... I'm going to do to the best of my knowledge uh, of what this uh, examiner coming out to test these guys, uh, I, have, I have a pretty good idea what he's going to ask for, and so uh, that's what we're going to go with. But basically, if you just look on the PTS, Performance Test Standards, which I think are about to change, uh, you can see what the requirements are exactly uh, for testing facilities. And basically, the examiner can only ask you to do the maneuvers and the questions that are on the PTS. All right, we're here at the run-up. Pull out my checklist for run-up. Normal foil at 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. We're at 18. So let's get it up to 2,000. Yeah, just anywhere between and twenty five is fine. There you go. That's good. Control stick check. Yeah. Left, right, clear. There you go. Bottled to 4,000 RPM and check. Lane A, less than 300 drop. Lane B, less than 300 drop. So okay. bring up to 4,000 RPM. About 120. No. About 100. Looking good. Okay. Got an idle fuel gauge check. Our fuel is 11 gallons. Our temperature is greater than 120. It is. Let me think there's one more thing to go on. Door secure. My door is secure. Okay. Doesn't take care of one three. Maintain VFR. Go ahead and line up. All right. And guys, don't forget procedures at your airport may vary. Our airport likes you to pull up to the line before you make the call. Some like you to make the call at the run-up area. And I don't see anybody coming. We're going to do a straight out departure. Straight out departure. Too far shot, Mike, see ya. Full stop landing in the next one. Full stop landing. Big far shot, Mike. I said I was going to call your crosswind. Uh, traffic to follow is heading to the right in the downwind of base. Swift. Chino, 
Delta Tower, Driver Copter 378 Whiskey X ray, holding short 26 right for a straight out departure. Hey, what's your chance? All right, stand by, and what do you want? Straight out departure. Hey, what's your, what's your destination? North Chino Hills. North Chino Hills. Tower 6, Hawkshot Mike, number 2, follow Swift short final, we're in the 26 right, click for the option. Those guys are. Tower 6, Hawkshot Mike, number 2, follow Swift short final, we're in the 26 right, click for the option. Clear for the option, we are number 2, and apologize for the incident. Tower 8, Whiskey X ray, fly runway heading, we're in the 26 right, click for takeoff. Runway heading 26 right, clear for takeoff through Whiskey 8. 7-8, Whiskey X-ray. Tower 8, Tower 8, Tower 8, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. Clear takeoff, 26 right. Tower 8, Whiskey X-ray, 26 right, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. Clear takeoff, uh, 26 right, fly runway heading. Uh, 8, Whiskey X-ray. Did it go through? I don't know. Hey, Tower, how do you copy? That's sticking. Loud and clear now. Okay. So, uh, get RPMs up to 2,000. Right there. Press the pre-rotator. Oh, wait. Right hand on the stick. Right hand Let that go. Stick. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Go to RPM. 2,000, a little bit. Push the button. I'll oh, cover 240 uniform, air tax space tires open. That's actually based on how cool things are about to be. 100. Tower Crofter, 5 November Kilo, East Tide, uh, if 2 North and Alpha is open, we'd like to uh, do right traffic over to 2 North and Alpha. All right, right, 2 East, uh, 2 North Alpha is now available. East Tide, we'd like to do right traffic for an 2 North Alpha, or an 2 North Alpha, quick land. East Tide, we'd take off, 2 North and Alpha, third away, and 5 number 2. 200 RPM, release this button, stick back, release the brake, throttle up. Okay. Hey, let your nose go really high on that one. Sorry. Okay, we're doing 80 miles an hour. But stick up nose, pressure up to six. There you go. What altitude are we looking for? 2,000. Okay. All right, temperature is getting hot, so let's back the power down, put the nose down. That sustained climb for a long time. Yeah. That's why you want to get to 60 immediately, not climb out at 80 because it adds more time and stress. Okay, first, you ready to continue based on the 15 feet front of the How's your trim pressure? Is it good? Looks like it's forward trim, so back it up a little more. There you go. Yeah, temperature's coming down. Yeah. 
That's a combination of two things, your speed in the 70s yeah. and less engine RPM. Okay. Forward, just want to let you know your radio is very broken. There, 8 Whiskey X-ray, on course, speed change approved. Frequent change approved, 8 Whiskey X-ray. So where are we going, Jeremy? The North Chino Hills. No, what's it called? What do I call it? Oh, Happy Valley. Happy Valley. All right, you lost your engine now. Where would you land? Uh, Probably in these, this field right here next to the school. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got a windsock down there, too. Look at that. The flag. Is there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shows you the wind. How about this one over here? Oh, that would, even, that would be even better. Yep. More room. Do you got some kids on the playground here, but I don't see any in the grass. Yeah. That looks like a hill, so I would land there. Yeah, from above, landing areas could look nice and cool, but then you get down there, you're on a steep, steep, you know, terrain. Yeah. Just how high up is the rotor blades, would you guess? Uh, the rotor blades are about just short of 10 feet. That's right. So I think if you even had a six foot fence, you could land on it, you know, although your blades would be tilted back a little bit, you still could whack it on the sides. Yeah. Got a bird over here. Yeah, don't hit the bird. Don't hit the bird. We're getting tossed around a little bit over here. Huh? Yeah, we climbed up to 22 as well, so back that power down a little bit. Let's go back down to 2,000. So again, you know, on your test, you're going to have 100 feet up or down. Yeah. So if the guy tells you an altitude, you got to stay at that altitude. If you even see that you're climbing, you're 2000, you're 2010, 2020, 2030, boom, start coming back on the power, you know? Okay. And if you're low, going down, down, boom, a little add to that. Try to keep it right in that ballpark of, of 2000. Okay. Generally, when the guys see you like doing an altitude change, they won't say anything if they see you recognizing it and starting to fix it. Okay. But if you just keep going, you climb to 5,000 feet, then they're going to ding you for it, you know. Gotcha. Again, I think I've told you this before, you, you, you don't have to be perfect, but you do have to be safe. Yeah. All right, what's the minimum distance over structures on the ground, houses and people and cars and things? Uh, 500. 500 feet. How about heavy congested areas? 1,000. That's right. Make, make your right turn. Okay. Okay, I want you to fly down this road at 2,000 feet and do 40 miles an hour and 2,000. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm close, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> All right, while you're doing this, let's do a left 180 degree turn okay. at 40 and 2,000. Left 180? Uh-huh. And you're clear left. Yeah, and I dropped a lot there. Yeah, 40 miles an hour is right at the back edge of the power curve. So if you dip below 40 much, you're going to descend pretty quick. Oh, uh, man, how did it... Uh... 
Now you're working your way up there. Slowly, I'm dropping it now. I think this is the most I've ever done this, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, setting right side on top of it. Here, if you want to do it, to tower, get make right turn, turn to the great zone. Oil's good. Almost there. Yep, a little more power for the climb. There you go. Alright, now you're 40 and 2, close to 2,000. There you go. Take that nose up to get that 40 going. Yep. There you go. All right, you go and recover. Nose down. Get back to between 60 and 70. Stay at 2,000. All right, you got the farmhouse, the, the main house on the far outside yeah. there. It turns around a point to the left. And this will be your distance right here. Yeah. And 2,000 feet. And go. Yeah. <laughs> What's the tendency that everybody does? Uh, cut it, turning it short. That's right. Get closer and closer and closer. So keep that in mind as you do your nice turns around a point. And you clear my way. There you go, keep going. All right, as you come around this way, you're gonna cross that dirt road, which is kind of straight going that way. We're gonna do a few S turns that way at 2,000 feet. Okay. Hey, Chelsea, your left has approved. Contact the south tower, 120.12. Left the road, and you want to cross perfectly perpendicular right there. Start your first turn to the right. 2,070, that's good. Okay, I'm not sure where we're going. Are we still taking doing the turn here? Yeah. One continuous turn. Okay. Don't fixate too much on the instruments. Glance there and back out outside to the target. Cross it over, make your turn to the left. Keep an eye on that altitude. This should be a quick glance out and altitude, just quickly looking back and forth. About to bust. There you go. Okay, one more to the right. Here's your two thousand. off the power. I, I, yeah, I guess I didn't I didn't realize the wind was going to pick me up that much. Yep. When you're facing into the wind, it rises you. Away from the wind pulls yeah. you down. Yeah. No, I didn't realize it was going to have that much of an effect. Yeah. I'm still climbing and I'm like pulling off the power. Uh-huh. Because was... you're at 55, too. If you get it to 60, then you'll stay stabilized. By pulling back on the stick, you're just increasing the climb. No, like doing uh, okay. So if you pull the power and pull the nose up, you're not going to go anywhere. You're just going to go, you know. That. Go ahead and make your turn. To the left or the right? To the right. Yeah, important to keep your speed consistent. That's what I'm trying to do. It's, it's the wind got consistent right there at the end and it just caught it picked me up. Uh-huh. 
like the whole time I was doing it, I was, I was, I didn't have this, the steady wind. So I think once we got here, you want me to do left S turns now or? Sure. Okay. There's your 2000. I can tell by your RPM that you're going to continue to descend. Okay, there's your 2000. It's going to end up turning. Okay. Remember, you're turning into the wind again. It's yeah. going to rise you up. It's a good thing to think about in the wind. Yeah. Uh, you may have to come off dramatically like that. Okay. In, into the wind, you're going to be fine. You'll climb if you do that. Just stay neutral. Okay. Continue making your turn. It's one continuous turn. Nose down. Okay. So you're pulling the nose up as you do it. Uh, well, yeah. That's was, slowing you down. Yeah, I was making well, you climb. Because I, I was hitting 70, and I wanted to keep it below 70. Okay. No, no, you were you were in slow. Oh, oh. Yeah. But that's going to make your altitude. Your altitude, in my opinion, your altitude's going to be more important than your airspeed. Okay. Generally. I mean, you don't want to go down to like 30 or anything. No, no. I mean, but they're looking for consistency in both, right? Yeah, see, now you're over your 100, so... Whatever it takes to stay in that 100 foot range. Okay. See how you pulled up and now we're doing 50? You kind of did like this. Yeah. This is always your speed, no matter what. And if you're subconsciously pulling up and pulling back on the power like that, yeah. then yeah, you'll climb. I've already lost it again. But you're only on 40 feet, 20 feet, so I don't mess with it too bad. I'm gonna start climbing again. Turn too early on this one. No, I'm dropping now. Make your next turn to the right. Now, you know, keeping this, you're climbing, you know, you continue to climb, so back the power down. As soon as you cross that 2,000, you should be off the oh, power, no. you know? Ay, ay, ay. This is why we practice. No, I know. I, I... Trying to drop. Remember, there's a five second delay in your panel, by the way. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. But when you do something, it's not immediately going to register. You have to let it catch up. Okay, I didn't know that. Yep. Am I still doing another right turn? Sure. But now I can tell by the RPM, 4,300, you are going to go down, but catch it on the bottom end. See how you're starting to descend now? Yeah. But once you get to 2,000, make a, make a power correction. Otherwise, you're going to continue to descend, you know, right there. Perfect. A little more. See how it just stopped it, palm, you know? Yeah. Continue on, keep going right again. Okay. You'll get to a point like 5100 is about right, where you won't have, as long as you don't change the power too much, you're gonna keep around 2000, but now if you pull back or this, this is gonna affect your, your altitude as well. So see how you went slow down into the 50s? Keep the nose down. Now your air, altitude, altitude's gonna go back down to what it should be. Okay. Because there is a correlation between these two Depending, like, if you're facing this way, see how your altitude's right, and you pull this to, to slow down? Yeah. Man, that altitude's going to go, and you're going to climb up, okay. see? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you're keeping it down at 60, you'll stop it, you know? So keep it down at 60. Except that now you have 5,100, so we're a little high. Most of your up and down is with your power, but a little bit it was with stick, you know? Okay. If you make giant 20 or 30 mile an hour changes, you know? All right, let's do this. We're at 22. Let's climb on up to 2,500. Just go in a straight line there. We'll make a check mark on as turns down a route in windy, yeah. windy conditions. And let's make a slow left turn as we climb up to 2,500. Thank you. 
left. You're turning left. Oh, okay. I think I was... What? Thinking we were going to go that direction. I don't oh. know why. Continue turning left. Or you're going to fly back over the pond. You're going to do a vertical descent over the pond from 25 down to 2,000 feet. And I want you to stay over the pond during the entire descent. So it's going to be important to kind of think about where the wind is coming from and put your nose into the wind. Okay. Where's the pond? Oh, there it is. I think the wind's coming from that direction over there. So. Okay. Point your nose that way when you get over the pond, vertically descend from 2,500 down to 2,000. All right, don't descend now. Okay. All right. Aye, aye, man. Yeah, this is the stuff I need to work on for sure. Yeah. Well, that's why we do this, so you can kind of figure out what, what, we, what we have to play with. You remember the parameters of a vertical descent? The parameters? No. 20, 20 miles an hour is what you want. You want the power off a little bit. And you want to recover starting at about 2,100 feet. Fish. All right, there's 26. That's All pretty right. good. So you're going to come off the power pretty good. Back on the stick until you look sideways to see that we're not moving forward anymore. You're going to hold that. If you get down to below zero, put the nose down slightly. There's zero. See how it rolls right? Yeah. You can kind of feel the machine when it's flat. See how it took a second or two yeah, to catch back up? Yeah. This is perfect. Right here in the 20s, low 30s is fine. Maintain a heading. We'll go off the power a little bit more. Nose down. Just wait. Give it a second or two to think about what's happening. There's your 20 back. When you get to 2100, we'll recover. Okay. Do you remember what the recovery is? Uh, nose down. Slightly from. nose down, add power. Nose down, add power. More power, recover by 2,000. There you go. That was pretty good. Oh, well, I can do that then. All right, got an engine out. Tell me where you're gonna go. You make a left. Um, shoot, I'm gonna just put it down on this road right here. Okay, what else are you doing? Um, making a call. Okay, what else? Uh. To aviate, navigate, communicate. <laughs> um, so aviate's first. I flying it. Yep. Uh, telling the, telling I'm going down. Having you now. Yeah. First you're gonna troubleshoot. Make sure your knees uh -oh. didn't knock something off. Okay. Have you got your target in sight now? Let's pay attention to the target. Okay. Where you going? I'm gonna make it. I think I can make it to that road down there. Okay. You're not gonna get any power back, by the way. So, about where the cows are, but on the road? Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll see if we can have this. All right, I think you would have made it. Add your power back slowly. And we'll climb out. Okay. Maintain your 60, exactly. That's pretty good. Is it? So the, the duels are pick your landing area, start flying there immediately, establish best glide, which is 60, okay. troubleshoot. If you have time, make a radio call, and then concentrate on your landing. Give me a tight left turn. Stay inside the power lines here. Don't get your nose up too high. Look at your airspeed. Get that 60. If you get too steep, we're just going to sink. Back up to 2,000. Oh, 
Oh, what? It's it's a lot. It is a lot. It's goes down. That's sixty. There we go. I see the wind's fluctuating back there. It's uh huh. I also judge a lot of my RPM. If you're above 5100, you're going to climb. If you're below 5100, you're going to descend. Okay. All right, we're at a uh, heading of about 260, about due north right now. Okay. A little to the right. There you go. 360. I want you to do a left 360 at 2000, then a right 360 at 2000. Come out on 000. Okay, left 360. And right 360 and maintain 2000. your airspeed. 80, almost 80. Yeah, it's... There you go. Is there... I'm looking for... I don't want to make a negative G on the rotor. You're not. Okay. There you go. Much better. There's that. All right, make a right one. I'm turn you a little steeper because you're about to hit the houses. Okay. There you go. 5100, see? Yeah. Ends up that way. All right. Let's check. Uh, let's go back to the airport. What uh, do you do to go back to the airport? Check the ATIS. Okay, let's do that. Let's see here. Let's do the ATIS 125A5. Okay, what's the radio call you're going to make? Do you know it? Uh, Chino Tower, Gyrocopter 378 Whiskey X-Ray over the North Chino Hills, request inbound for full stop. Pattern. Uh, pattern. With? With Juliet. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this, I don't know if this is going to stick, but I'll try it. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, could you? Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll come to Chief Troy for a mark. And Chino Tower Gyro 378 Whiskey X-ray over the uh, North Channel Hills inbound with Juliet. Right, traffic for 26 right, and we'd like a little pattern, please. Eight Whiskey X-ray. Okay. Where be the airport? Right over there. All right. Start heading towards the tower. You want me to hold to 1800 or? Uh, you can go down to 1600 now. And we'll maintain 1600 till you go over the round prison. Okay. If we fly over the prison, you can say hello to your family members down there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cousin Eddie. <laughs> Cousin Eddie. I got one power in The airspeed's not as, not as important so much that. Well, they're both kind of important. I mean, you know, you don't want to be flying 20, and you don't want to be flying, you know, 150. Well, yeah, above 60, but below 60 80. to 80. Okay. Probably pretty comfortable. Okay. But if you get to 40, 40 is right on the edge of the power curve. Yeah. Where if you go much below 40, you're going to be descending no matter how much power you have. Yeah, I remember doing that in the downwind once on accident. Yeah. And, and then, of course, you're doing 120, then, you know, it's going to have trouble as well. So. Yeah. Climb back up again. Okay. Once you cross over the prison, we can go down to 14. 
So your examiner, when you fly the pattern, he will want you to be within 100 feet of the pattern altitude, 14, so. And that was up one by Bravo, just request a short delay on the runway. Like this, if he sees you making the move down there, Blow the road, he's as cool. Well. Roger. Not gonna but once you get there, you gotta stay there. Crew deck 511 inbound on the on Crew deck 511, Chino Tower, continue inbound. Uh, actually, your number two following dark is short final. Runway 26 right, cleared for the option. Correction, clear low approach on the go. I'll call your left turn. Clear for the low approach, you'll call my left turn. So a little high on the flare there. Okay. Right off you go. Stay on the center line for takeoff. Remember those landings coming in, add a little power to kind of soften them up. Nose down, 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 right there. Look, I'm getting... Well, you didn't go full power. Uh oh. There you go, climbing out at 60, got a nice headwind going. Remember, don't uh, just fly down to the runway, level off at a foot, kind of take your time. Don't try to go, sh -bow -bow -bow, you know, and no, try to be, yeah. you know. All right, I want you to pretend like you're landing on the 26, but I don't want you to land on the 26. I want you to fly down the runway at a foot, and I'll tell you when to land. Uh. Oh boy, okay. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Okay. What? No, no, it's easy. Super easy. Uh, no recycling transponder not picking up for Jane Fruit. Now, I would start coming down. Here, Jane Fruit, don't tell you. 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 Here, Jane if you see you're starting to be under base, 60, east of the wash, just runway nose down, right. not power, just nose east down. East of the wash, left to base. There you go. 26 left, 1 for 3. Is that the one for the runway sign with a 26 right? 26 right, 1 for 3. Yeah, it's like you're right on the glide path. Come off the power smidge. And it's Mitch Moore, right there. Now, do not adjust the power at all and land. Tower helicopter one, Mike Bravo, two on the Alpha request. Air taxi over to Juno Fuel. Fly to the runway at a foot. Okay. And fly down the runway at a foot. Federal Mike Bravo, taxi northeast corner of the bridge. He's caution for uh, nope. Bronco, a couple uh, people over there. Roger, got the one, Mike Bravo. Stick back. Not that much, just lightly, lightly, lightly. Uh -oh. Don't do, do, you know. Just little movements like this. Okay, off you go. One more. Then your torture is over. <laughs> right there, nose down, nose down. Oh, you're pulling that nose up way too high. Right here is where I want you to keep your nose. Okay. Your nose should never get this high, more than this high off the ground ever. Okay. So you get to 60 and then you climb out. I don't know why, but it felt like I was uh, gonna hit the ground again. I don't know. Nope. And tower gyro eight whiskey x ray. We like to do a short approach and we're going to full stop this one. There is a short approach and a 26 right click for the option. Clear the option 26 right, 8 whiskey x ray. Short approach. Okay, engine out. Lay me on the 26 or around it, but not before it. What are you doing? Uh, get Best down. glide is? Best glide is 60. Okay, are we doing 60? Uh oh, okay, now. What else are you doing? Troubleshooting? Troubleshooting, yeah. Okay. Got a pretty strong wind blowing this way. See how you, yep.
If you don't get that 60 immediately, you're probably not going to make it. Okay. My plane. Your plane. So get down here to a foot, like this. Uh -huh. Then you can just slowly come up on the nose. You can actually slowly increase your power. So you're really flying slow. Yeah. And just put the wheels on the ground just so light. That was off the ground. There we go. That's a 143, runway 26 right, clear to land. Pop it up. 186 right, clear to land, 143. Sorry, was that good? Uh, right at Delta, contact ground. Right at Delta, you can scan straight. All right. So we got some stuff we can play with. Yeah, yeah, I definitely need to do my uh, slow speed. S turns. Uh, S turns, yeah, S turns, especially in that wind out there. Yeah. All right, guys, so what did you think of Jeremy's flying today? <laughs> Give us a comment below. Don't forget to like it and subscribe. And don't forget, if you're in Florida for the next couple of weeks, come to Benson Days in Wachula, Florida. Uh, or come to Sun and Fun and uh, come say hi. If you can't make Florida, uh, we'll we're also be going to Oshkosh, the air show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So until then, we will see you.